Well, good evening and welcome to News Watch, the 5 o'clock show in the middle of a good and proper garden party. My name is Teresa Kashuba and we are in Lakefield, Ontario. And the people you see here are some of the people who make this district absolutely beautiful. These are members of the Lakefield and District Horticultural Society. They have a big event taking place actually right now. We're going to find out about that. But they have been busy all season long making Lakefield as beautiful as it can be. We're going to find out about the projects that they've got going on, some of the gardens that are right here outside of the library and also some of the other kind of interesting accessories that you'll see along these tables. These are not just any bits and pieces for a garden party. They're good and proper antiques. It's a big show and it starts right here with this wonderful garden party right after we see what's lining up for 5.30. Before I get too far into this next interview, since I have Brenda Ivy with me from Emmont Garden Shop, what smells so good from this garden? It's uh, it is spectacular. It's beautiful. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it all just smells great. There's some beautiful salvia and geranium. What's salvia? This is the, the annual purple? salvia. The purple salvia oh my is beautiful. Gosh. Yeah, it's probably Something what has is... a good scent. I don't or even know. the alyssum here. The uh, really? that's really pretty. The ground yeah. cover here. Yeah. Yeah, that's an annual as well. We've got some shrubs in here, some beautiful um, shrubs back here. Oh, What's yeah. the one in the back? That's a hydrangea. The... I think it might be like Pinky Winky. It's got a very strange name. That's great. Yeah, and some grasses. This looks this looks great. It is this beautiful. the kind of thing? I mean, you put a lot of work into it with the Horticultural Society. Yes. Maintaining this garden, but is this the kind of thing somebody could, you know, put elements of like this in their own garden? Oh, at sure. Home? These are a lot of annuals and perennials. They're all common. We get a lot of our things from the uh, local garden centers. So, oh, for sure, they could easily do it. Ah, see, you can get tips like that if oh, you would yes. join your local Horticultural Society. We yeah. are with Brenda as she represents the Lakefield and District Horticultural Society, celebrated 50 years 50 together. last year, yeah. And then this year is our 35th anniversary to do the Antique and Flower Show. And that's the reason for our beautiful hats and our gloves and the little tea party that we have going on. I looks uh, great in there. You know what? We were uh, <laughs> just driving up here. People, everybody's turning yeah, heads. They're, they're turning really heads, They're really curious about what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the Society has taken on the beautification of Lakefield yes. um, through the spring to fall season. So how much... It, 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 people think that this is, oh, isn't that a nice hobby for the people who want to garden to, yeah. to but there's a lot of work in this. Yes, oh, for sure. Planning. And there's a big budget too, so yeah. the the show helps augment that. Exactly, the show raises the majority of our funds for the society for the beautification of the village, for the education programs that we do. Um, because education we, programs. Well, we do. We have speakers every month, right? Okay. And, um, for eight months out of the year, we have speakers, and so we have to pay for our speakers. And then the beautification in the village. We have a library. We have uh, yeah. We just share the information. And, and the oh, the hanging baskets. There's I think 18 hanging baskets oh in the gosh. village that are beautiful. And yeah, a lot of people think that it's the village that actually pays for that but it's our society that does that it's these people these ladies right here right they here are hard working when they're not wearing their white gloves yeah. they're wearing their gardening <laughs> yeah, gloves that's right that's right and they're hard at work yeah. and i don't whatever community you're watching from take note of the horticultural society yeah. in your region yeah. because they're sure to goodness working on a project in your area oh, exactly, and they yeah. probably have somebody who loves giving you advice and tips even oh, though yeah. we're in the middle of summer yeah. there's still plenty that you can learn about making your own yeah, garden or your own sure. balcony and gardens are up. so friendly and it's, so it's nice. not it's not a society <laughs> that people need to be afraid of we're so fun and i tell you they're so supportive it's just a great group to be involved with i love it okay we're going to track down aileen she's going to tell us more about the show which yeah. takes place Wednesday and Thursday. Right. And she's going to tell us a little bit about the cool antiques that we've got yes. collected on the table. Part of the garden party here in Lakefield, Ontario. Luckily enough, as we talk about the Lakefield District Horticultural Society's Antique and Flower Show taking place Wednesday and Thursday, we have some antiques here brought to us by uh, the deans. Mike, what is this? It's a muffin here, and it's for shaking sugar on whatever you feel like putting it on. A muffin ear. So how old is this? I that I can't tell you exactly. That one. I didn't know that they had sugar shakers, really. No, it's interesting. That's a very well made one. When you take the top off, it uh, yeah, and just lift it up. Yeah, but there's a secondary top there. It comes. Oh, I see two see, pieces. Yeah. And what about this? This is lovely. It's got the glass dish with yes. the. It's a typical so. Uh, uh, to have on the table. 
This is for salt. Salt, and you had a spoon uh, to. There was, you know, there weren't containers to shake salt in those days. And, and these are becoming more popular now as people talk about do gourmet salts and things like that correct. that you sprinkle your yes. own. Just a few of the beautiful things that you're going to find at the Lakefield Antique and Flower Show Wednesday and Thursday. Aileen's going to fill us in a little bit about this uh, beautiful silver set. Oh, this belongs to one of our members. As, in, as you can see, she's been very busy polishing it up for the show. And uh, it was, uh, she's been married for 50 years. And this was given to them wow. uh, by, it belonged to her grandmother. It's been given to them as a wedding present. And, um, Beautiful polishing job, uh, yes, Dot. Yes, it certainly spent a lot of time. It is one of the challenges of having beautiful silver is that it, it does is. need to be maintained. It is. It was a very popular gift in the 1950s. I think I got three tiered trays and everything, and I'm afraid a lot of it's in a trunk. How many volunteers are part of the society that does this work and also puts on the show? Well, the, the complete crew that we need for when the show is on prior to an evening is about 50 people. Wonderful. And we never, I, I, my job is lining up the volunteers and I never get a no. I start phoning and I'm just never, everyone is willing to help because it is once a year. Yes, and once a year. And then the rest of the year, we can it, play. And it's a long full year effect too. That's well, right. Aileen, have a wonderful show. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for collecting all of these lovely things for us today. <laughs> You're welcome. The There's nothing cooler about an antique show than getting an authentic, bona fide history lesson. And today, we managed to connect flowers and history and the antique show all in one, thanks to this lady, Gail Corbett, historian and author. You have some wonderful information about Catherine Parr Trail. Tell us about the first botanist. Well, the first botanist in Canada lived right in this village of Lakefield, over here off Clementi, as did her sister, Susanna Moody, they were both Strickland girls and their celebrated uh, niece and uh, daughter, Agnes, who I'm researching right now. Ah. Agnes is amazing because when she was widowed, she came back to Catherine, to Lakefield, and said, Aunt Catherine, would you please reduce some of your manuscript? I will draw ten pictures and we will sell that book. And they did that. They were both widows. They got 500 subscriptions for this book here. No kidding. Yes. That was the first Canadian coffee table book done by two Lakefield botanists Isn't and artists. It amazing. And you wanted to also tell us about some of the uh, connections yes. with her studies to well, these plants here. As you know, the poets here, this is a, a land of poets and writers and artists and all coming from the inspiration of the flora which was so important to these people for their survival. The lily itself, they're very precious and the uh, the, they were illustrated in this fine book and they are producing stationery with this on. I was so glad to see the grasses in this bouquet yes. because uh, Catherine Parr Trail was famous for knowing all the grasses in Rice Lake. So this whole flora horticultural history starts here in the wilderness when people are trying to figure out how to survive and moves right down to Belleville with Susanna. And this fragment of a fern I'm holding, many ferns in this area, this is actually named the Trail Fern by the Canadian Experimental Farm in Ottawa. Her collections that came from this whole area are at Trent University, at Queen's University, and in Ottawa. So we have, right from the 1800s, this horticultural society, I believe she was a founding member of this society, is descended from all wow. her wonderful work all that in work. flora. Well, my goodness, Gail, thank you so much for bringing these specimens for us and for sharing the information. You're very welcome. It's a pleasure. The 5 o'clock show wraps up, not after some cookies and tea, <laughs> but wraps up from Lakefield, Ontario, as the Lakefield and District Horticultural Society prepares for its 35th annual Antique and Flower Show Wednesday and Thursday at the Lakefield Smith Community Centre. Thanks for joining us. Coming up next, it's News Watch First at 5.30.